One thing I'd like to add, though, is that I, I've read the WADA sort of uh, angle on this, and it's primarily because it it goes against the spirit of sport, whatever the heck that means. Like, in terms of cannabis, cannabis, you know, does not really, pl- it's not detrimental to you. I mean, that's been known for a long time, or or significantly detrimental to, to especially athletes. It's not going to give you, you know, it's not, it's not like an anabolic steroid at all. Uh, so, so the angle that they're going with is just, it's, it's something that has been illegal for a long time. Uh, you know, humans, and it was only made illegal officially in the 1930s, right? It's by first the U S and then they pushed it on the rest of the world. So it's sort of a more conservative mentality for why it's been made, uh, you know, illegal or why it's been banned for athletes, but that's changing slowly. The, like you mentioned before, the NFL's uh, Players Association and, and the, the league in general is separate from these WADA guidelines. And they've recently, I believe, um, they're now, I'm not sure, completely permitting players to use, but they're not finding them or giving them, uh, you know, serious uh, punishments if they're, if they test positive for cannabis. Because the players, association has been fighting hard saying there's all these medicinal aspects to cannabis you can't you know ban this if sometimes players need this especially now that we see you know all these effects that happen after long-term contact long-term head injuries uh which cannabis seems to ameliorate so so what do you think that uh in in coming years maybe decades those laws might change to the point where cannabis is fully accepted within the realm of, of sports. I, I think it should turn to the same way as alcohol, right? Um, I'm not hundred percent sure on the regulations for alcohol. I, I believe you can't be drinking while you're doing the competition. No. Uh, so if you test, if you have a certain level of alcohol concentration, that is, is it'll complicate you, but I think it'll be very similarly. The only sad thing is that, well, cannabis lasts in your body longer than alcohol, right? But they'll revise things to the point where it'll be somewhat similar, where, where you're not going to punish uh, players or athletes who are using in their off time or when they're training by themselves, you know, because you don't want people, I guess, during an, a, a specific sport to not to have any any sort of mind altering properties but you know you, there is you know the aspect of being there when you're when you're competing mm-hmm. at your highest level at you know naturally right and and i think those be, there'll be revisions with regards to the regulations to to permit that to occur uh to permit you to be able to use cannabis if you need to up until you know the point of competition 